to day 4 of the scrapbook vlog challenge um, it's a day late because yesterday um, when I wanted to record and stuff the power went out because I had my washing machine on, my fuse tool on and my computer and it was a bit, sh <laughs> a bit too much so I had to stop um, recording because I couldn't make the card I wanted to make and then my um, mother-in-law came and we went to an uh, aunt and uncle so it was already 11 o'clock when I uh, get, got back home so I was able to do uh, the day 4 but here it is and I've combined day 4 and 5 of the challenge because day 4 is make a gift card holder and I transformed it into a birth birthday card and day 5 is um, something to do with the envelope so I made a nice envelope to go with my card so yes um, that's it I think and yeah enjoy watching the process and I will see you tomorrow bye let's begin with the card so I have here some uh, paper it's uh, from American Crafts it's fusible paper and I picked out two ones I like and I end up using the pink stripe I wanted to make a pocket with the paper and a um, transparency so I'm cutting a, like a template of a banner and I'm just using some cardstock so I'll make a cut in the middle and then from the point to the middle so you get a banner you can also use a die or anything but I like to use it uh, or to do it this way here I have a normal uh, uh, oh, how do you call it? Ew. Oh, I don't know the name anymore. Um, well, just where you put your layouts in. And I cut a piece out of it. And then I'm fussing a bit with the with a piece of plastic and my template. Because the paper is kind of like a, it's not really paper, it's more like a plastic. So it's really slippery. Oh, my cat. <laughs> so I end up taping it with a washi tape uh, to, the, uh, to, the, to the paper. Just to hold it down and I can remove it later when I fuse the paper together. Washi tape really uh, comes off really easy of this... Uh, this fusible paper and I end up not using the uh, the ruler and doing it this way it worked fine I, I think so don't go too fast don't go too slow and make sure your fuse tool is heated up really well and I have a we are memory keep us warm and it's a European kind, of course. And make sure in the points you overlap one seam with another. So that you don't have any gaps. And then remove the washi tape. And I check with my uh, scissors if I did it uh, good. And it went well, so now I'm cutting out the piece that I fused together and I'm retracing the shape so I get the banner again. Make it a bit neater, trim, uh, trim the excess off. And you can follow the fuse line you just made, so it's really easy.
now I'm adding some <laughs> sequins and I put them in the, the little pocket I made and later on I, uh, add, you know, I will add some extra embellishments so oh and I there was a piece not sticking very well so I use my fuse to fuse back together again add some more sequins I don't know I always guess how much I want just so that it looks nice and here I'm picking out some um, a hello and two flowers to put in the pocket to give some extra interest Shake it around a bit so I have things nicely distributed. And here I'm making the rest of the card. So I had this gold piece laying around. Um, it was a nice size, so I used it. And then I um, took some nice flower paper and I just this guessed where it had to go. I'm not really. Uh, very precise on measurements, so I just eyeball it a bit. So the gold goes on top of the flower paper, and then my pocket goes on top, and I will put it on a white piece of uh, card later. And the pocket was a bit large, so I trimmed off the piece, and then I tried to use a tape uh, a tape runner. But it didn't stick to the plastic, so that didn't work. So I used some liquid glue, and that worked pretty well. You see in a bit that it will come up if at first, especially because the glitter paper is a bit uneven. But I tape it down with some washi tape, and then I put a jar on it so it can dry a bit. So I waited for like five minutes, I think, and then I continue with my card. So I made a, a white card base, and then put the layers on top of each other, and then I run out of adhesive. <laughs> And um, the measurements of the card were 11 centimeters by 14 centimeters. And it translated to about 4.5 by 6 uh, inches, or 4 by 6 inches, something like that. Now I'm putting on uh, some leather stickers from Studio Calico which will say happy birthday or happy b-day because birthday is always a bit long and you go through your letters very fast so I usually do the b and then day and it works fine I think And this blue matched nicely with my sequence that I used and also um, with the paper, the flower paper. And I will uh, be making a matching envelope later. You will see that in a bit. So it's nicely, it also matches nicely. So that's the card I made with a fuse pocket. Now on to the envelope. Uh, I have an envelope punch board, but uh, on the front there are inches, not centimeters. So I uh, had to uh, measure my card. And as I said, it was about four by six inches. So I needed a piece of paper from uh, eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Yeah, so just a square piece of paper. And I trimmed it. Oh, 
so I'm not scoring, trim it. <laughs> and my first um, score line was at 3 and 1 8 I believe. And then you just go around, so punch and score. Then uh, uh, you have to uh, find the line again. Then put the little marker at the line and then punch and score. And you have a nice envelope. And then you can also round the quarters on the other side. I always like the look of rounded quarters and uh, of an on an envelope. And then um, just um, fold at the score lines and then score them a bit. So it matches perfectly. And now I'm making a nice. Uh, Inside, you can also leave it at this, but I like to um, put some matching paper inside. So I use this um, flower paper and I um, measured the inside of my um, envelope and um, trimmed the paper to that size and then also the inside of the envelope. And I end, I end up throwing that a bit because it was too long. So now I'm seeing if everything's okay. And I'm tracing the top of my envelope because I'm just gonna uh, cut that with my scissors. So I'll make a small pencil, pencil line. Then cut it out with my scissors. Around the corners a bit, and then here I notice that the, the paper is a bit too long, so I trim off uh, a, a bit. And when the envelope is closed, you don't even see, uh, so it could be even shorter, but well, yeah, it's okay. Put some uh, adhesive on the inside of the flaps, <laughs> the smaller flaps, uh, just at the edge, just a little bit here and there. And there you have it, that's your envelope. And it matches nicely with my card, so somebody will be very happy to receive this, I hope. So, yeah, thank you for watching! Mm, big I I think 9 out of 10 times I use 3, a big one, a medium one and a small one, just I don't know why it looks good I think. Then this card, this photo is of a magazine.